Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn uh, how to insert value in a uh, identity column manually in SQL Server table. So there could be multiple scenarios where you have to do that. Maybe you have you are designing a dimension table and you would like to uh, put one record uh, with the minus one as identity and uh, have the value unknown. So that that could be one reason. Uh, maybe you are inserting the data into the uh, table with the identity some of the data could not go through because of some errors and uh, identity is missed uh, you want to just fill those identity values uh, there uh, manually so let's go ahead and take a look here I have uh, this table uh, called DBO customer and I'm using Tech Brothers IT database uh, so I'm saying customer ID in, integer identity one comma one so starting point one and keep uh, incrementing by one I have first name last name and age that's the tiny int and these are watch your 10 and watch your 10 for the first name and last name let's go ahead and uh, create this table now we are going to insert three records uh, so we are inserting a uh, uh, first record Amir Shahzad 34 and then we are inserting a uh, uh, my long name my last name and 33 you see that uh, this uh, value is more than 10 characters uh, so this is gonna fail uh, and uh, this one uh, we are just inserting another record Raza and M and the uh, age is 32 let's go ahead and uh, execute these statements now you see that uh, uh, string or binary data would be truncated uh, so the second insert did not complete it uh, let's go ahead and take a look in the data now what we see as uh, the and second record could not go in uh, it was supposed to be identity 2 but it skipped uh, due to the failure and went to the third uh, for this uh, record so if uh, you try to insert some record let's say if I will try to insert uh, this record again so identity will be like now the next uh, identity number is 4 but uh, if that fails uh, then next insert will start with the 5 so that's how it is uh, here we would like to put uh, we made some correction we said okay my long name was wrong it was supposed to be only long name so that's what it is and uh, we would like to insert uh, uh, the identity value to customer ID 2 and then uh, the record uh, fixed record so what you do you will say set identity insert underscore sorry set identity underscore insert so you have to use key, this keyword and then provide the table name and then say on so you say on and then uh, you use uh, the word go here and then say insert into then you provide the table name customer ID and if you remember here we do not use uh, the customer ID column because we know that it is identity column the value will be populated automatically but here as we are inserting manually so we are turning it a uh, identity insert on that is uh, going to let us uh, insert the value manually so we have to say customer ID and we provide value 2 and then uh, we fix our name that was uh, not uh, my long F name so it is just a long F name now value does exist uh, in 10 less than 10 characters or uh, is uh, nine, actually 9 characters um, so it will fit in and uh, next we have then my, my last uh, name and 33 and then once you are done with the insert query here you are saying set identity insert provide the table name and say off so then identity will start working again once you will uh, run this part so let's go ahead and insert the record record is inserted we can go ahead and take a look and you see that the uh, customer ID identity 2 is inserted and the record is now inserted successfully so that's how you will manually insert the value in identity a column you have to say set identity insert on and then insert the record and say uh, set identity insert off now if I will go ahead and insert uh, another record uh, see I'm not providing uh, any identity column here because uh, now identity is working as we have set uh, uh, identity uh, identity insert off so now if I will go ahead and say Raza1 uh, M1 and say 34 or 35 now it should be just fine select the data and take a look so let's see it is working just fine remember I was saying uh, in cases uh, where you are working on some dimension and all that you might have to say insert a record with minus one so minus one 
unknown and the uh, last name is unknown this just I'm trying to make uh, this is uh, a um, okay this is 100 so you see that uh, set identity insert provide the table name and then uh, you say on and the one you say on and then you will say go and in insert the value then uh, you will say set identity insert off on that table so now if we run this one we will insert the minus one value in the identity you see that even we started identity uh, uh, from one comma one so you see here we started with the one uh, comma one starting with one and incrementing one but we can insert any value uh, as in teacher can accept the minus values as well now if I will go ahead and insert another value that will be Raza 2 M2 um, and uh, let's say 35 is fine now we should have num identity value 5 and you just, you can see that I'm not providing a customer ID so it is auto generated so run it and we select the data so we see that this record is created with the identity value so if you read some time I have done that we had to fix the data and we have to set the identity insert on insert the record and then set to the off and that's how it will work thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video